folks sunday afternoon welcome aboard time for margu uh we're bringing it back uh today b-side so uh still margu still insane still zany uh if this is your first time visiting us welcome aboard uh you picked a wrong day uh if you've been here before you know what these guys are like so they are for mature audiences only so if you're easily offended you really need to take off right now uh, we'd like for you to follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want to buy cool stuff like a shirt, phone case, shower curtain, duvet cover, etc., cetera, et cetera, uh, check out the link down below to our shop. Uh, if you are in the market for some new dice and who isn't, uh, and you want some custom dice like old Big Red 2 here, uh, go over to Twitter and check out at Pirate Dog Dice, hit them up, see, uh, tell them what you want, see if they've got time to do it. They'll take a look at it. And of course, if your game stinks, unlike the sweet, sweet smell of success that we do, uh, Go on over to oddfishgames.com and try their adventure sense. They've got over 60 of them, uh, and most of them are quite pleasing. The ones that uh, you want to get are the uh, sewage-based ones, and you just drop those small pebbles into your boss's air vent and you just sit <laughs> back and you laugh. They also make something called the Shine System, so if you want to be a writer like me, only gooder, uh, check that out. That is all for the pitches, except for one very important pitch uh, this February, the 12th and 13th holiday weekend, right before Valentine's Day, Murder Hobo Con. It's our second venue. Uh, it's going to be a two-day event. Event sign up is still available if you want to run something as our badge sales. So if you just want to go and enjoy yourself, badge sales are open. Head on over to murderhobocon.com for that. Folks, this is the Margu campaign B-side. So these guys have gotten their characters squared away and let's introduce you to them. First up is AJ. AJ, who are you and who are you playing today? My name is AJ and I am playing Ralph, the mountain dwarf slash... Awesome, drunken gambler. <laughs> Hill. Yeah. Mountain dwarf? Hill dwarf. I, would, uh, dwarf. I was under the impression it was hill dwarf. That didn't sound like a hill dwarf. <laughs> Not well, sure. You know, yeah. sounds where I come from. Yeah, you know, it, it's hard to tell. Nobody really, you know, who's, who's really keeping track? Uh, next up is the senior member of our group, Frank Senior. Who are you? Who are you playing? I today? am I am Frank Senior. I'm playing Leon Sphinx, the Leonid Barbarian track keeper. Nice. Uh, and somebody who doesn't understand uh, who Strawberry Shortcake is, is up next, our youngest hobo. Hi, I'm Sophia. I play Bio, who is a fallen Asmar and a warlock. And I'm angry at the same time. And it was probably accidental that I called upon you as you started to drink. Uh, Middle Frank, you are up next. <laughs> I am Middle Frank. I am playing Barnum. The psychotic uh, 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 cleric who's just, you know, just just had a total mental break and he just kind of kind of loses it every once in a while. You know, when certain things happen, you know, bad things happen, good things happen. You never know what's going to happen around me. And I do have the mad cleric chart up and running this time. Finally, certainly last but not least, uh, was our second or was our youngest hobo now even that title's been stripped away from him so he's just a nobody like everybody but else he's, he's uh the unluckiest the, the unluckiest rolling hobo wow the i'm so di gracious diplomacy expert yeah oh, frankie who are you who are you playing <laughs> i <laughs> am he sounded <laughs> i am gornak lamighty um, I am the barbarian, one of two. Uh, I am a very, very simple man. I like simple things, like my nails being clean and my weapons being clean. And That's you are I not have. a man. You're a linen. I'm also not a man. Well, I'm a male man. <laughs> he was the runt of the litter. He's being chased. Uh, folks, it's been a while since uh, we've been with the Margu guys. Uh, these folks are down underneath the city. Uh, and they are for answers, and they have strict, explicit orders, if you will, not to defile any corpses as part of this area 
is a graveyard. Now, earlier, they took on a group of rogues known as the Orphans. Uh, and while getting part of their butts handed to them, uh, they have managed to become quite successful and defeated said Orphans. And you guys, uh, remind me, did you take hostage or did you just take the head of the Orphans? Never made the, the, the final decision. I thought we took a hostage. Yeah. You have you have a hostage. Yeah. But I don't know what you want to do with him. <laughs> I know what I want to do with him. There I can tell go. I wasn't here last time because there's no way we should be taking hostages. No survivors. There you go. Earth. That's the name of the game. So I guess we're taking. Yeah. These 12 year olds shouldn't grow up. That, uh, they should understand that there are penalties in life. We're saving yes. them from themselves. No, he's talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> no hostages no witnesses don't you guys watch breaking bad <laughs> yeah you don't leave people alive here uh and the weird thing is i can't even find my city map because i was braced for a side today uh so i'll be dinking around over here so uh you guys have defeated the <sighs> had barricaded themselves uh and lit you guys up with arrows you have one hostage at this time. What would you like to do with this individual who is desperately pleading for their life? I'm going to pop a claw into the side of his rib and ask him how many more are down the corridor. Uh, give me an intimidation check. Are you going to wait? Are you, you going to ask you the can, question first or stab him first? You can roll at advantage if you're going to stab It's going to be first. a little. I'm going to stab him first. Okay. Shoot first. Ask questions. Oh, later. I rolled a natural 20. Yeah, he's going to tell you everything. Uh, if you've seen Deadpool 2, that is the reaction. <laughs> he's going to tell you every single thing he knows. Uh, he's going to point out there are at least eight more individuals down here uh, that are not uh, uh, looking around in pieces. Uh, and they should be coming here any moment in time. Please, for the love of God, please let me go. I need to any of magic shorts. users, any of magic users, magic users. Magic users. Magic users. Wizards, warlocks. Oh, warlocks. wizards. No, 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 no. Those guys are those guys are jackasses, unless you're one of them, and then it's okay. I'll give them a tooth grin and say, not me. And I'm gonna turn around now. I'm looking at the rest of you guys in the party. Now hang on. Give me a perception check, uh, Leon. Uh, 15 and three, 18. Uh, that little bastard HR guy is not with you guys at present. He has disappeared. Mm, imagine that. <laughs> uh, first, I'm going to say, do we need him for anything else or her, whatever it is? I would say you could refer to it as it. it. Not that I am aware of. Guys. Ralph, Hi. you listening? Oh yeah, I'm listening. <clears throat> um, I think we should. Uh, we're we're in the caverns. We just we are, are we asking him. Like, do we have anywhere that we have to go, or is it just like a straight hallway? Your hostage intervenes with a <clears throat> goes, sir, if you please. I have a young puppy at home that I must tend to. Could I please leave now? It's fine. We'll get to him next. Yeah. Um, Ralph is going to look at Leon and just. <laughs> no. He's got a puppy, man. That's um, all right. I'm going to finish him off. Wait, wait, wait. Somebody wait, else is going to get wait, a puppy. Wait, wait, wait. Before you finish him off. Are we just. Is, do we have only one direction to go in these catacombs? Because I don't want to get lost. So. Uh, currently, uh, you could have gone straight. You did not. You could have gone left. You did not. You went right. And you are in a dead end cavern okay got it well, can I'm we gonna, ask him right. where his friends are uh he they're, they're coming i don't know where they're at do you guys oh, right. you guys you guys have a hideout down here in the catacombs um you are looking at it sir about my puppy his name is rufus he's very cute right, he's I'm, gonna take, and white. <laughs> I'm taking the, i'm gonna take the battle axe and finish him off in the name of all uh, up, 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 up before you finish him off Maybe we could use him to help get us out of these caverns. All right. I'm going to pick him up and throw him to Ralph. 
Do I need oh, to roll? No, no. Ralph's I need to roll him. for that. I'm gonna roll for that. You need oh, to roll man. for that. All right. Ralph is gonna try to dodge it. Uh, that's a 18. Ooh, Can I roll to intercept? Next I want to intercept. Just <laughs> me with that shit. Uh, the individual collides into the limestone wall uh and uh odd even he suffers damage odd he'll be unconscious even he'll just be loopy please be unconscious my dog my dog where's my dog hello dog (laughs) (laughs) nice catch ralph i'm not saying i wanted to catch him i'm just wondering (laughs) he's doing good to us now we might as well kill him Uh, he's just loopy he's loopy he can't find his way up I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to head towards the entrance and with my senses on high. So you're going back out the way you came? Well, if there's no other way out of here, yeah, you said it was a dead end. Oh, 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 oh. So, yeah, uh, previously you would come to an intersection. You would come from the north. You could have gone left, right, or straight. You went right. Uh, Other than boxes of uh, different items aka loot uh there's nothing in here okay <coughs> i'm gonna go back to the intersection rufus rufus where are you <laughs> i look at gornak and say gornak you want to tell ralph to do his own dirty work i don't want any hostages but i don't want you don't want to get your hands dirty. You don't want to get a little blood on your hands. So do I have well, to carry yeah, that? Yeah, now you make me feel bad. He's got a puppy and whatnot. So do I have to carry him now? That's bull because that everybody knows that, everybody knows that hill dwarfs eat puppies. <laughs> wow. I'm not a hill dwarf. <laughs> everybody roll perception. How many times have I told Hooray. you this? <laughs> oh, natural 20. Nice. You haven't been upgraded Perception, honey. Go ahead. Uh, eight. Natural eight, baby. Starting off strong. Uh, start off strong at 22. Mm-hmm. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, four. Sophie beats you for golf score. Natural four. Wow. All right. Come on. Big perception. Ten. Ten. Are you Ten. sure you guys didn't play last night? Because you have the same eight. dice rolls. Uh, and I got a plus seven. seven. Wow. The Leonid senses pick up uh, movement uh, and a slight whistling noise, possibly wind, from as you move to the intersection. Yes. Further south. So straight ahead. Straight ahead, it would have been. Okay. I'm going to pad quietly yeah, yeah. back to the room and let them know that I, I can hear movement coming down the court. <clears throat> Did you guys uh-huh. catch all that? Ralph, you know, somebody's throwing a bottle Ralph, around at me. Ralph, where's Rufus? All right, all right, I'm killing this dwarf. That's it. <laughs> no, uh, no, sorry. Rufus, yeah, now I'm using Rufus my great axe. Here, to kill him. Are you happy ball? there, Leon? Yep, I am now. Leon smiling. Somewhere, right, Rufus. Rufus is sitting at a door waiting for an owner that will never return. I hope you're happy. I, you know, I hope you can sleep tonight. <laughs> oh, I'll, be just, I'll be just fine. Don't worry. I'll sleep I'm easier. A, yeah. And I'm going to whisper it's, it's to you. you. You could at least found out where he lived at so you could go eat his, eat his puppy. Yeah, no for the last time, I'm not a hill lord. Uh, a stone uh, cascades into the slight tunnel that you guys are hiding in. Clunk, 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 clunk. Punk. from down the south corridor uh from the intersection from the intersection okay what do you think I, I i'm gonna reach feel around and find a stone and kind of toss it back that way sure clink 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 okay the familiar sound of an arrow is heard uh, three one two three uh leonid uh at disadvantage an arrow which one comes, you <laughs> comes zinging in all right an eight and a 12 so that thing is gonna miss yeah uh, it careens off the wall and lands harmlessly behind you clearly whatever's out there is armed how far away is it with my dark vision i can see 60 feet is that all then you cannot see it Okay. 
So it's got to be at least 61 feet out. Okay. I'm going to go into stealth oh, mode. I see 62 feet. I'm just standing 63 away. Stealth mode and start moving down the corridor. Sure. Slowly he turns. You want me to do a stealth step roll? By step. Oh, yes. Uh, especially since Ralph's target is now gurgling. <laughs> Rufus. That's uh, one more, one more whack. Eighteen. Go, to Jerry. Sleep, you're, go to sleep. Go to sleep. You're sneaking in behind the still egg mites. Uh, you're still moving forward. Still sixty feet. Still nothing. Another arrow comes whizzing in. I guess we're just this headed towards one. Uh, Rolf, since he's making all that racket with the battle axe, at disadvantage. That's uh, a 14 and a 14 plus two. Does a 16 get you, Ralph? Uh, does the tie go to the runner? <laughs> it does not. <laughs> Don't worry. The good news is I'm using murder hobo dice and they have not failed me. Six hit points. <laughs> As the happy pair finds its mark. Uh, must have been all that racket of killing the gnome. No uh, mat. No uh, mat. I am wearing chainmail armor, so. Oh, that's true. You're. I believe the juvenile ones are no mats. No mats. It's extra noisy. Or no meds. Don't worry, Ralph's got a ton of hit points. He can absorb it. Uh, yeah. yeah, I'm like a. I'm He's like a party's tank. tank. He's yeah. a tank. He's a tank. <laughs> uh, for, uh, Leon, you hear the oh, God, oh a string of uh, hill dwarven profanities, likely. <laughs> <laughs> and I will, every, I will every, smile in the dark. Everybody heard the zing, uh, but there, there's something out there, something <laughs> that needs to be dealt with. Uh, you can't tell if it came from directly across the intersection. Somebody's angling it in. Somebody's shooting Ralph's curved arrows, or no, that's Felix's curved arrows. <laughs> Felix got curved ones. Yeah. I'm going to continue to move forward. Okay. Uh, you hear the pitter patter of tiny feet moving. And it uh, sounds like an insight check to you. Oh, insight plus three. That's 15. Mm -hmm. uh, you aren't sure. There's a lot of echoing in this cave down here. Yeah. All right. Do you enter into the intersection again? <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm, if I enter into it, I'm going to be moving across it to the other side. Yep. Cool beans. What's everybody else doing other than Rolf is bleeding. <laughs> so I, I, yeah. I, did I notice Leon slip away or just, he just, do you have dark vision? I, no, I'm human. Nope. You can't I see shit. I uh, can see him moving away. Okay, but I saw because I have, we have torches. Yep, at so the I back. did see Ralph get shot. Oh yeah, well you know he's not going to be quiet about it. He's probably going to wind the rest of the day. <laughs> That's because your torches made him an easy target. That's right. Yeah. You silhouetted. Well, somebody's got to be the cannon fodder. Oh, thank and you. Ralph, yes. Hey, you killed the only cannon fodder we were going to. I was going to work with though. So. They wouldn't shut up. Leon's over here throwing them to me. How am I supposed well, to catch it? I'm going to jump behind cover and use my detective skills to figure out where that shot came from. Okay, Columbo, go ahead and roll. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to roll? Just dice? Investigation. This can't go wrong, Matlock. <laughs> 14. Uh, you know that it came directly across uh narrowly whizzing by uh leon's head so you aren't sure if they have a beat on him or if uh they were tired of ralph uh, just bludgeoning him to death and he needs a pitchfork kind of death like big jake <laughs> <laughs> we will now call ralph Machete. <laughs> I don't even get that reference. Oh, yeah. You don't get the Big Jake reference? Nope. Oh, oh, man. Big Jake, then. There. Waha. Uh -huh. Am I going to be called Big Jake for the rest of the night? Yeah, yeah Big, Big Jake, Jake wasn't the one that got killed, but we'll call you You're Big Machete. Jake. 
you're, yeah, you are Danny Trejo Machete because you know he would have been that guy. Okay, so uh, I'm I'm ducking behind cover with my back behind something away from where the shot I think the shot came from. I'm going to start looking to see if I can make my way that way. The bravery is astonishing. How about you, uh, Shortcake and Gornak? Shortcake, you're, um, you're eating. What are you doing? Yeah. She was eating. That's why I called on her. <laughs> I saw I saw um, Leon slip away. So can I follow him? Sure. That's Give me stealth. Clank, 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 clank. <laughs> All right, stealth. Is that what I have to roll? Yep. All Aren't you right. a metal drummer, though? Yes, I am. Uh, you rolling this at disadvantage. Is there a D on your paperwork? Oh, it's not. Maybe Do I have my armor on? This, uh, yeah, everything's on. I am going to shoot oh, at no. you. <laughs> no matter what, you're taking you one across the bow. I will roll now. I still have it on. It's not disadvantaged, so it must not be very. That is an 18 with plus. That is really good. Wow. Using Leon as a shield, you sneak up behind him. Uh, Ralph and Shortcake. What are you doing, Shortcake? Um, was I able to? Pretty sure I was able to see Barnum go, right? Yep. Yes, you have dark vision. Yeah. I'm going to follow him. Everybody's following Bar. You're following me? (laughs) No, I just ducked ducked behind. I'm getting out of the line of fire. I don't have enough hit points to be cannon (laughs) fodder. I thought you were the tank. I thought you were cannon fodder, tank. No. (laughs) It's Big Jake. It's not tank. (laughs) I do not have enough hit points for this. I started down already. Jetty, Jetty. Jenny. Uh, another arrow comes zinging by. <laughs> Get you in the other cheek. <laughs> uh, shortcake. It's coming at you. Still at disadvantage. A four and a three. It wings over your head, nearly clipping Ralph on the way down. <laughs> uh, this time, Leon, who's leading the crowd, Sees a little bit of uh, heat disruption there in the dark vision. Yeah. I I can see where the arrows came from this time. Yep. I'm and you on. can hear an unusual noise. Go ahead and give me an insight check to see if you recognize this noise. Even better. Oh, 14 and... Uh, Am I right behind three, him or like... 17? You're right, you're right behind him uh, doing the one man. <clears throat> Can uh, I hear seven, this as well? 17. Yeah, you can probably hear it. Uh, Leon, you hear. Oh, Arbalist <laughs> time. Yep. They're, list, they're lifting the drawbridge. We need to go uh, you, you see a couple of figures ahead of you about 60 feet now. Okay. That's fine. I'm going to keep I'm going to keep sneaking. <laughs> <laughs> Box <laughs> on target. Fair enough. Uh, come on, Maverick, hit him. Gornak, uh, you're right behind him. You also hear the noise. Uh, you can recognize the sound of a ballista or arborist. Uh, you are familiar with how much damage this does and how likely Ralph will probably die. <laughs> uh, that's a good thing. Okay. As I hear this, I am going to get farther behind. Leon, Leon, just sure. to see if I can like defend myself. Corpse. Sure, that, that works. Uh, Barnum, Shortcake, uh, and Ralph, you uh, faintly hear a noise. I'll take insight from all three of you. This thing is going to be kind of obtrusively noisy. 10. 25. Five. Okay, Ralph and 25. Shortcake. I rolled 25. Oh, I thought she rolled a five. She well, rolls a five. Still, <laughs> let me roll. Let me try. Well, okay, go ahead. Go oh, ahead. Wait, can I retry? I don't like my five. ten. You rolled. I didn't eight. know that's the way we play. By three. I, I, well, if you're wearing something from Hot Topic, you can re-roll bad rolls. Oh man, <laughs> I got my Hot Topic. Is this from Hot Topic? <laughs> this episode was sponsored by Hot Topic. <laughs> <laughs> it was, this episode was brought to you by. Mm-hmm. But she got a five. Sponsored. Ralph she got rolled, a she rolled a five. She does not hear anything. So Zippo. Uh, Ralph, you hear something, 
And you kind of you kind of know what that is. If yeah. I think I know what it is, I want to move out of the way. I want to move well, away from wherever I was just standing. You're in a dead end. <laughs> do, do I know now, what it is? Boxes. There are boxes lying around that you can I take. Up. Twenty-five. I'm oh, going to you know, hide behind some of the boxes so at least they can't see me. Yeah, sure. Uh, Leon, uh, yep. you creep forward. You can see movement. You hear there, there, there. And you hear. I, as soon as I hear that, I'm going to dodge. Sure. Three. Dodge right in. Good luck. It. You better dodge because <laughs> it's coming right at you. All right. Can you dodge a wrench, Leon? Yeah. Uh, and it careens into the wall right above your head, scattering rocks everywhere. Uh, and it snaps in half, skids across the floor, and lands right in front of Ralph, who peeks around the boxes and thinks, Jesus Christ, that thing is huge. <laughs> now I'm gonna <laughs> now I'm gonna that. charge. Now I'm okay. gonna charge. Sure. Uh, you charge D12 against me. Okay. Not Six, six, ten, ten. Uh, three of them stay. Are you giving your uh, Leonid uh, pride growl? Or I'm giving. Go? I'm giving my my roar. Okay. Uh, Gornak, Barnum, Bailey, Ralph. All you hear the is the padded is feet of Leon Sphinx, the Leonid, charge forward, screaming out his roar of power. He's such a ninja. Sure, why couldn't I have had those rolls? <laughs> Got a 16, a 17, and a 15. Oh, I, Any I, one of those would have nailed your ass with the ballista. <laughs> been making a carpet. <laughs> Look, everybody. He, someday he'll be king. <laughs> <laughs> no, he just died in the herd, so now I'm going to be king. Oh, there it is. Grandpa plays his scar. <laughs> uh, you got to do a DC 14 saving wisdom saving throw. Yep, 15 was my low roll. Can you just say Decepticons roll out real quick? Oh, but. Mike's crackling again. How's that? That's, <laughs> that's better. Yeah, it, it'll do that from time to time. Uh, okay. Uh, Leon, you're the only one charging, you're the only one rolling okay. initiative. Uh, I'll have everybody roll initiative, but Leon's going to be the only one to attack this round. Uh, 19. Roll your initiative. I, I got to look because I can't remember how to do any of this stuff. I got a natural 20. Nice. Well, Sophie, Sophie really well. wants to go last. No, I don't want to go last. No, you roll a five. That 20 doesn't count. I want a different roll. I roll a 17. 26. Fair enough. 19. Uh, Leon, you got three of them. Two on one side of the ballista, one on the other. They are armed with short swords, and they okay. are shorties. Okay. Gnomes. I'll go to the two, two at the two that's on the same side. Fair enough. <clears throat> Let's see. <clears throat> And I'll go uh, berserk. They're berserking on two rage against the machine, rage against the dying of the light. Berserk. Three gnomes, and you're going to rage? Man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If they're level rage. one, you're screwed. Don't care. It gives if me a level ones, bonus. I'm just trying to figure out what it is. These guys are thugs, man. Yeah, you gotta watch out. Make any difference to me? They're wearing Kill. the wrong colored vest. Killing is killing. That's a t-shirt. All right. right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> killing is killing. Oh. They sell that at Hot Topic though. <laughs> Hot Tropic. Got an eighteen and nineteen on the hit. Okay. That hits. All right. And then I get plus two on the damage. First one is eight and seven, 15 points. 17. Okay. No, 
Eight. No. Eight. Fifteen points. Fifteen points. Yeah. Okay. Fifteen points. Are you attacking both of them, or yeah, what? I'm attacking both of them. I've got okay. battle axe in each hand. Sure. Go ahead. Oh shit! Threw it in the floor. Oh, second one, same damage. Fifteen. Uh, you hurt him pretty bad. Pretty bad. Uh, give me a perception check. That's 14, 3, 17. The one on the other side uh, takes heed of his friends as they scream, go get help, go get help, go get help. Uh, the two gnomes uh, level off against you, take their short swords and stabby, stabby. With a seven and an at 20. And that so, 20 is going to hit. Stabby, stabby. <laughs> Uh, maximum damage, 10 hit points. So if I can block that with my tail, if I can hit it, can I? Uh, or not. 20. Yeah, not 20, no. Not, not going to happen. All right, 10 yeah. points. Yep. Round two, everybody hears sounds of battle. So, nat Let 20, Gornak, what do you want to do? Well, since I've lost my cover, because uh, it just ran away from me. Uh, I guess uh, I got... you, were, you were hiding behind me, you turd. Yeah, I was. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, I guess I'm going to charge down the hallway now. Okay, fair enough. Uh, With my battle axe ready. You will attack once at the end of this round. Great. Uh, 19, Leon, you are up again. <clears throat> that is uh, 11 and 7, 18 and 17. Both hit. Separating the damage on each. Yep. That's, They're dead. Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> 16 hit points. Okay. Each. Uh, off come their heads if you did excessive damage. Uh, yes, so I did. 17. Uh, Barnum, what are you doing? There's sounds of battle ahead. Charging forward. Very good. Uh, let's get to the high numbers. 12. Ralph. <laughs> Charge. Very good. Uh, and last but not least, a strawberry shortcake. Major. Fair enough. Uh, 20, Gornak the Mighty. You charge forward. You see uh, your, are you, guys, is, are you guys brothers or father son? I don't I think we're just us? good buddies. Yeah, okay. Just buddies. Drinking buddies. Uh, yeah. You see your good buddy just whew, slice away and heads begin to fall. Okay. And I you've guess got so. this nice shiny mahogany uh, or, um, ballista right in front of you. Ooh, we should keep that. We should. Mm -hmm. You know how big it is, Frankie? We could fit it out the door. <laughs> All right. So, here somehow. somehow. So I'm going to try to attack. The one that's alive, because you said there's three, right? They chopped off the two of his heads. I did say there were three, and I also said one of them took off running. <laughs> I'll go after it. Did I see him go, or did I not? You saw... Uh, give me an investigation check to see if you saw him go. Okie dokie. Investigation. Where is my... There it is. So plus zero. So I got a five. I don't think I saw him. Nope. <laughs> You have no clue what's going on. You couldn't even see the rat running up I your guess, leg. I guess I can ask Leon, was that all of them? One went down the hall. <laughs> Run right after him. Separate the party! The, yeah! the, the rage is starting to dribble down. Gornak, you had already had a substantial lead on everybody. You uh, careen down the tunnel using your dark vision, hoping you don't run smack dab into a stone feature, while Barnum, Bailey, and Ralph uh, quickly arrive at the site of the amusement. Uh, the sound of a bolt is heard. From behind all of you, Gornak is ineligible for this, so I will roll a d4. Three! Three strawberry shortcake. 
I'm gonna go three with... strawberry shortcake as the bolt goes into the ceiling and shatters all over Ralph. <laughs> yeah. I better not take damage from it. Uh, you do not take damage from it this time, uh, but you seem to be surrounded or are now fighting on two fronts. So Keeping in mind, not three minutes ago, you heard there were eight more. We killed three, so that leaves us with five. I'm going to keep going forward with my charge. Following Gornak the Mighty? Yep. Fair enough. Uh, Leon, what are you doing? You got two corpses at your feet. You're muted. You're muted. That must have been a great story. I'm going to run down the hall after that one, too. But as I go by that back, uh, arbalist, I'm going to cut the string. Oh, what a dick. Okay. I oh, <laughs> uh, mm. uh, go ahead and hit it. AC 10 shouldn't be too difficult. Nope. You say that. 19. Yep. You slashed the rope. And I'm going to charge down the hall behind Gornak. Fair enough. Uh, shortcake. Uh, somebody shot a bolt at you from behind. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? I don't know. You just got shot at. Oh. From Turn behind. Turn around. Okay. Okay. What are we gonna do now? Uh, I can't. <laughs> so there's what's wait, is there stuff like around? You were running this way. Okay. To whatever Leon was doing with these bad guys here. Okay. While running this way, something shot at you from that way. Did it you you, you no. spin around. You turn around at the intersection. Now you're looking you at the other heat, side. A heat source and a heat source. There are two heat sources on either side. So from where you entered this mess and from the straight along that you could have gone. So they've got you in a pincer move again. So there are two foes behind you. Can I use Eldritch Blast on one of them? Fair enough. Left or right? Okay. Uh, left. Okay. Even if I get a bad roll, I have plus eight. Uh, yeah, I have plus seven, and I still rolled a three. Uh, no, she rolled a natural twenty. I got twenty. <laughs> Damage. Well, she's got to roll a second time. She hadn't even done. She she has two shots. I do. Yes. And then you rolled a, a twenty-one, not natural. So roll twice. Damage. Roll it first time. Oh, that's seven. Seven damage. Roll it again. Well, you actually you rolled a two, seven plus Nine. four. No. Huh? So that is 11 for your first hit. 11. Uh, both Eldridge Blast is at one, or are you splitting? Are you shooting at one target, or are you splitting your shots? Splitting. Okay, she's shooting at both targets. So 11 right. for the first one. Yep, now roll your Elders Blast one time, and that's your that's your score for your second shot. Wow, that was Six. wonderful. Six points. Did it do anything? Okay, fair enough. Uh, Barnum, what are you doing? Did I hurt him? Okay, do okay. I know what's going on behind me? Well, I hear her shooting off some Elders, right? Uh, yes. I'll turn around and go back and help her out. Okay. You spin around, you yeah. are armed with a torch, which will screw up her dark vision. Uh, what I gotta do? D12 against me. D12? Yep. 11. Net 12. Uh, yeah. You uh, see two figures on the edge in the flickering torchlight. Did I hit them? I see them, you knucklehead. How far apart are they? Uh, they're on either side of the tunnel, which is whoo, 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 kind of a bigger gap, uh, maybe 30 feet. They're right at the tail edge of your illumination. 32 separate. All right. I am. Do, 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 do. I ain't going to spin that cell spot. Uh, I'm going to charge the closest one. That'll be the one on the right. All right. Going at him. Attacking. First swing is a 20, a dirty. Yep. Second swing is a 25, dirty. Yep. 
All right. First round of damage is nine. Second damage is 11. Uh, cuts him down. Back to the top of the order. Uh, Gornak, uh, you're gaining ground on this guy, uh, but you're coming up to a T intersection again. Actually, you're coming up to a full-blown intersection. What do you want to do? You did, Gornak. The ninny. Gornak, the big We're all muted. Everybody's muted. You're muted, Gornak. Yeah, I noticed. I was talking about it. Um, I would like to use Dunting Roar. I'm going to sure. scare him. Yeah. As bonus action, once per sort rest, creature of your choice within 10 feet can hear you, you must succeed on wisdom saving throw, DC 14, or become Fail. frightened to the end of your turn. Yep. Fail. You have scared him into running faster. Ah, okay. Well, I just use that. All right. Uh, what else can I do? I guess I'll just... Do I have a bow? I'll Because if I do, I could just try and shoot at him. Because it was a, I don't it was know. a <laughs> bonus. I have a bow. I also have a javelin. Ooh, choices. Javelin. Throw the javelin. That gives your strength bonus. Yeah, it does. All right, I'm throwing the, I'm throwing the javelin. Let's sure. see if I can yeah, but it. I picture him throwing the javelin like Lamar off Revenge of the Nerds. Well, I got a 19, so I threw it pretty well. And we're old. <laughs> yeah, I could tell. Yeah. You said 13? 19. I got a 19. Oh, okay. You hit him, Lamar Latrec. <laughs> and I hit him for eight damage. So he's at half. He should be. They had 16. Uh, gonna... you'll, you'll notice Lamar Latrec was in the original Cobra Kai. That's true fact. He was one of the Cobra Kai guys. Uh, Ralph, uh, you hear the daunting roar. You see him thrust his javelin into the air. Wah, 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 wah. Uh, but you give me a perception check. <clears throat> 18. Uh, as you go into this small tunnel before the much bigger cavern, you notice there are alcoves here with old candles and ceramic urns. Uh, there are bits of, say, memorabilia, uh, trinkets, if you will, uh, adorning the left urn, adorning the right urn. Uh, behind you, you hear the thumping pads of Leon Sphinx charging up the rear, oh, trying to maintain his rage, which is starting to fade. I'm going to uh, stop a little bit because it sounds like gornak has got everything in front of us. I'm sure. pick time up to loot. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's the perfect that's... time to loot. There's all this stuff down here, you know? I'm going to start smashing some of these urns and see if there's anything valuable inside. Or I... lift the lid, you know? <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> Who you does know, that? I, I, I find it amazing how adept hill dwarfs are lying. No. Unfortunately, I'm a mountain dwarf. So yeah, yeah, yeah. there we that go. Means, there, no, you have exactly to say you're a hill what I mean. It's a prime example of what I'm talking about right there. Oh, oh, it looks like a the hill left, dwarf. or do you want to dink with the right? <laughs> uh, both. Can't I just push them right off the shelf? Well, they're left. We'll go to the left. Uh, on the left, uh, you notice. Inset into the urn is a, a platinum round, and it's been etched into the appearance of a uh, naval gnome, you think? Naval gnome? Male gnome. Oh, male, male. gnome. Yeah. Oh. yeah, you ought to be all over that, Hill Dwarf. Yeah, male looks... gnome's naval? And, and it, the urn has a, a little cap on it, so you could like lift it if you wanted. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to lift the cap. I'll take the bait. Sure. Uh, you lift the cap uh, and a plume of, uh, for lack of a better term, cinders goes up. Give me a constitution check. I'm, it's, ugh, that's not good. <laughs> Seven? Seven. Uh, as you lift it, 
some of the cremains uh, come oh. up and you yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to put the lid back on. I don't and, want to mess with the gnomes. As, as Leon goes running through the cloud of cremains. <laughs> <laughs> fun at uh, bath time, kitty cat. Give me a dex check to see if you hang on to the urn or if you drop it. Nope, I drop it. And it shatters everywhere. Well, uh, there goes that bonus. Leon, uh, as you're charging to help your cohorts after cutting the line, you run through some kind of cloud of something, uh, probably Larry. Uh, go ahead and give me a constitution check to see if you also sneeze. Uh, 20, 30. Okay, yeah, you hold your breath just in time and your heavy-duty eyelashes as a Leonid allows you to go And ahead. I yell back and say, somebody's going to brush my fur. <laughs> Look at hey. you, Ralph. This is a family show. Uh, <laughs> Barnum, uh, Bailey. Barnum has already taken care of the one on the right. Uh, Bailey, uh, you uh, have your associate on the left that uh, appears to be loading up a crossbow. And not very well. Um, I have a two there's all, there, no, there's no two dudes. There's only one dude. I killed one of them. Okay, dudes. so so your my dude is dude dead. When your I, dude is over there loading the new dude. Okay, so when I hit because I did the Eldritch blast on both of them, oh. did I kill them or how much damage did that? You just damaged them. them. You damaged them. I killed one. Can I do an Eldritch blast on yes. the other dude that's yes. there? Sure. Roll your Eldritch blast. You got to click will. your name. I will. Click on a shot. Roll it, roll it twice. First time's a 25 dirty. Roll again. I can't even see that. Second time, 17. 17. That's two hits. Roll your damage twice. Once. First bit of damage. Six. You have a plus five. I don't know, okay? I swear if it's another six. Ooh, look, you got a better. Seven. Seven. 12 points. Uh, fortunately, that is good enough as her arcane... Uh, skills are enough to put the gnome down both gnomes at your sixes are now down uh barnum what would you like to do since Arthur. there's nobody around i'm gonna be checking to make sure nobody coming okay gornak uh i turned my back once so i figure i'm gonna see if there's anybody else out here hiding Sure. Gornak, uh, you have got a javelin in this guy's butt talks. Uh, what do you want to do? Gross. I want to I want to ask him, why are you running? Oh, he's still running. So hey, are you, you got to catch him first, <laughs> fool. Are you, why are you running? Why are you? <laughs> yeah. No, 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 yes, I have a javelin in your ass. Why are you running? Hey, <laughs> bring, give me back why my javelin. Yeah. Why are you running? Why are you running? So has he gotten to the T intersection that you said there was, or he's going to go left, and you're going to hear a uh, breaking of glass like immediate, like he turned and then it broke, or like he didn't turn. Oh, all right. Um, I guess I'll follow him and look to the other direction where, where perception the... check. Oh, all right. Yada, da, da. Where is perception? It is right over here. Two fours in a row for perception. Uh, D12 against me, please. Uh, let me get D20. Actually, I've been saving up till this moment. What'd you get? I think he's rolling a d20, so he probably will beat my d12. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I'm seeing a one oh, coming nice. up. He's going to roll a one. What did he roll? Why did he go off? Seven. Oh, oh, I never right. thought it was a one from here. Now, get, now give me two dex checks. Because you are in disadvantage because oh, you are looking not. the other way as you hit the puddle of oil from the flask that he has dropped. Oh, he's probably going to set me on fire. 
Everything around here seems to. So what do I got to roll? Dex check. Uh, Dex check at disadvantage. Yeah. Roll it twice. Take the lowest number. That's a five. It's probably what I'm going to be taking. No, it's four. Uh, it's say, six. You can roll better. Sorry, I, I mean roll. six. I forgot to add the two. It's six. Uh, you land on your ass. Yeah. Uh, new round. Rolf. Uh, oops. Uh, yeah, whoops. You see, My you mistake. See, you see that shiny platinum coin looking thing there. Yeah, I realize that these are urns filled with their dead relatives. I'm, as I think I'm haunted already, I don't need to mess with the dead. My mistake, I'm going to, you know, say a quick prayer to the gods that be, don't smite me. And back to the task at hand, I'm going to charge off after Leon as he just ran past me. Cool. Uh, Leon, you're up. You see Gornak uh, take a spill. He Pete roses himself <laughs> into second base. <laughs> I'm going to run right on by him after the guy with a spear in his ass. D12 against me. 12. Ah, 11. Can I can I yell at him to make sure to get my spear back when you find him or get Yeah. Him? You can yell but he also hit the patch of oil so he's going to give me two dexterity checks. <laughs> you stand and slide on him like you're surfing. Uh, first cool. one's a dirty 20. Okay. And the second one is a 21. Oh. Uh, so you leap gracefully uh, over the glowing orb boy and continue to give chase. Uh, the gnome that you are chasing now appears to have a rigid tail waddling back and forth as he <laughs> runs. Uh, it looks like he's kind of circling around on you guys, is what it looks like. Uh, Barnum and Bailey, you are up. I was looking around. Do I see anybody else in this back area? Come no, but you hear the flapping of what sounds like leathery wings. Uh -oh. Barnum, Barnum Bailey initiative. Again. Can you roll my initiative, please? Yes. Ooh, 17. Oh, crap. Beal's initiative is a whopping 10. I'm going to die. Good one, Bailey. Shut up. Should have rolled it. Right. It's a whopping 11. I'm not much better. Let me try to roll. No, uh, too late. Light goes out. Dark vision out uh, as a pair of creatures descend upon you. And I love these guys. They're awesome. Uh, Beal, that's a two. So it flops down next to you. It is humanoid size. Uh, Barnum, 11 plus 5, 16. To hit me? Yeah. No. Uh, it descends next to you. These are creatures uh, roughly the size of humans with leathery wings. If you saw the original Beastmaster, you know what these things are. Uh, but they're very dark and all light is whew, gone. Uh, probably with the ability to cause darkness. So you will be attacking at disadvantage. Both of you, you are up. What would you like to do? question yes can i still see in the dark nope. no dark vision's I'm out i'm going to die it's like somebody flipped the switch on you <sighs> so attacking will be at disadvantage i'm gonna die that's the Maybe. spirit probably <laughs> You see, your brother has survived this entire time, and we all know how bad he rolls. Exactly. Yeah. And hell, Ralph's here with his 11 hit points. I know. It's amazing. Hey, I'll have you know I have 13 hit points. Thank you very much. 11 hit points. For, for now. <laughs> okay, Barnum and Beal, what are you going to do? Um, what are you doing, Soph? Uh, try to survive. What are you doing? Uh, you can always cast your. Uh, I want to try. You, can, you got a new spell. You can summon your demon. I can summon a demon. A shadow spawn. I am. Can I do that? Well, I'm summoning my demon. <clears throat> Fair enough. Uh, how long does it take? Just one round. Uh, 
you can see <laughs> how to fly. How long do you need to, one action? How long do you need to kill her? Probably two rounds. <laughs> two rounds. Okay. It's all you got It's the crush damage, really. That and the uh, disabling suffocation. Well, the blood, okay. the blood sucking. That's right. You, uh, you summon your demon, uh, Barnum. What do you want to do? I am going to cast. I can't see, so that spell is useless. I haven't dipped with these spells in a while. I'm sure I'm screw it. Did you say it landed next to me? Or near me? You're, per- you're pretty sure it landed next to you. You can't see it, but you're pretty sure. I'm going to reach out and try to touch it. At disadvantage. With a uh, Vampirico t- touch. 16. Hit. 18. So you, uh, you feel something. All right. Well, Vampiric touch for three die six. Do I look like it? Huh? There we go. And that was 15 points sucked from them and put where it needs to be. Got it. Uh, Gornak, regular dexterity check. Get up out of this oil. Ah, uh, man. Let's. Gornak, uh... what are you doing, man? Three times in a row, I've gotten to four. Yeah, you uh, stand up and fall back on your ass just as Rolf comes running by. Ralph, give me a perception check. 18. Yeah, you see him fall, so <laughs> it would be wise to leap or come to a screeching halt. Ahead, uh, you see Leon making a left turn. Well, I'm going to take a little bit of wisdom and look before I leap. Can I... I- that being what? said, you see some kind of fluid is across the floor. Can I safely jump over top of it? I need to do this in a split second decision. If I can, then I'm going to leap. You, you surmise that you can make a leap. Yep, I'm going to make roll a, leap. a one. <laughs> For dexterity, I roll a fourteen. Oh yeah, you leap, uh, and you can see uh, Leon closing on the opponent with the rigid tail. Anything you can do from range, or are you done? Yeah, I will. Uh, let's see if I can fire a crossbow bolt. One, 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 yeah, one. Yeah, you better one. not fumble, or I'll be turned oh, around coming after fumble. somebody else. Fear not. 18 with a D8. I was not ready for the D8. Oh, baby, with seven damage, if I connect with an 18. Oh, 18 plus two. 32. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hit. Uh, right in the back of the head. Down he goes. Uh, Leon, you hear the familiar whizzing of an arrow. It goes right over your left shoulder and strikes your chase E right in the back of the head, and he takes a face plant. I'm a so walk. now he has a javelin sticking out of his yeah. ass and an arrow sticking out of his head. Well, I'm not going to bother with the arrow, but I'll, I'll pat him down real quick and pull that javelin, take it back to Gornak. Uh, do a D, straight up D20, make sure that you don't. The tip's not broken. 17. Just the tip. Uh, fair enough. You recover the javelin. Barnum, Beal, you guys are in a wee bit of trouble here. Uh, and these creatures are going to attack again. So on Beal, huh? 17 plus five uh, leathery wings of some kind. Uh, wrap around you. You know what? Uh, let's use a murder hobo con die. See how oh that man, oh, it's die. Digest. You know what? I love murder hobo con because <laughs> that right there is a six plus three, nine hit points of damage, and I need a DC 13 strength check. <clears throat> All right, strength tech. You got no bonus on strength, so just hit that button and roll it. Oh, God. Here? Yeah. You can hit there. Don't matter. Either one. I'm going to have it. 15. Uh, the wings do not completely get around you, so you are not grappled. Barnum. Eight uh, plus five, 13. Uh, it lashes out, but is unable to attack. 
Uh, Barnum, you beat Beal by one, so you're up. Ah. Barnum, strike! So now I have a little bit better idea. <coughs> so let's do another attack. Here. I don't want to use that one. Here we go. Guided bolt. My 30 20. Hits. All right, here. Then damage wise, 14. Dead. It crumples to the ground, and uh, the light of your torch starts to filter back in, but there's a great big glob of darkness next to you where Beal was standing. Gornak. Okay. See if you can stand up. I can't believe neither one of you two set it on, didn't set it on fire as you ran past him. Oh, we haven't um, come back all the way yet, have we? That's true. Can I'm dra- I like dragging the tip of this javelin? <laughs> Can I don't <laughs> can I like slide like push myself out like with the yeah, you, you can expand the pool of oil. That's that sounds like a good idea. But you gotta no. say stroke, stroke, stroke as you do it. I just wanted to like grab onto something and drag myself out of it. I will give you a plus one to your roll. Yay! I used my brain and it worked. I'm surprised. Should have used burning hands. <laughs> That would have been even better. A 17 plus that three gives me a 20, a dirty 20. You drag yourself off, uh, scrape your butt across the dusty floor. Thank goodness you are on dry land and now rise to your feet, a free Leonid. Uh, Ralph, uh, you can take the accolades of shooting the guy in the back of the head, your second kill of the day. Uh, Leon, you see, has pulled forth the javelin. You look around here and you see a lot more alcoves, each decorated with urns. Uh, similar tidbits and trinkets surround these. It certainly looks like it is a funerary, funerary kind of place. Yeah. Uh, aye, 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 aye. Uh, it's tempting to look around, so I'm just going to look around a little bit. See, if any of them strike my fancy, did, did any of them stick out to me at all? D20, I'll tell you. Eh, not really. Okay, uh, I'm gonna leave him alone. Then. Kind, I don't need to mess uh, with the dead. No, uh, no silver mermaid handled daggers down here. No uh, yeah. skull encrusted dice. There should you... be one down here. <laughs> there is, but I think it's uh, owned. Yes, uh, yep. Uh, Leonid Barbarian Leon, what do you want to do? I'm gonna give Gornak back his uh, javelin to start with. And I'm then I'm gonna say, where's the other two members of the party? Um, they're back there. Perhaps I will go back and see if they're okay. Perhaps. Perhaps. And I'm gonna head back down the hall. No, huh. That that sounds like it's uh, at a lazy pace to me. Uh, Barnum Beal, what you gonna do? Barnum, yeah. you're so, first. Can I? <laughs> I'm first. You choked on your die roll. You're second. Go ahead, Barnum. I'm going to walk into the darkness and feel for leathery. Oh, good touch, bad touch. Yes. Go ahead and uh, D12 against me. Twelve. Uh, you feel seal skin kind of thing. Mm, Very silky, very soft. Definitely not your associate who feels like a coarse burlap sack. (laughs) Because Beal shops at Hot Tropic. (laughs) Hot Tropic. I'm going to roll some damage. 26. Or not damage, but attack. Sure. 26 to hit. Now, disadvantage because you're in darkness. Gee, I hope you don't 14. fumble. You are correct. 14 was the second one. 14 is still good. I am touching, so. Now, for damage. Oh. Oh. 18 points. Oh. Bad nice. touch. That is a bad touch. That's a nasty, wicked touch. 
Uh, that is interesting. Uh, however, uh, God, don't hit me. Oh God! I, I, I should have gone first. Oh, but that's okay. I'll go now. I'll be back here. Okay. Twelve plus five seventeen on Beal. Seventeen hits. You know what? Let's use a uh, murder hobo die this time. Oh no! Oh no! Three plus three, six damage, and I'm going to need another strength check, please. I'm about to die. Dad Doesn't she have one of those retaliatory blasts? She No, that's a tiefling. Uh, Don't I have a shadow demon on she her? She has a talisman of uh, rebuke. What I mean? Oh, yeah, she could do that. Don't I have a demon? You do have a demon, and that is going to take away the disadvantage when you attack. Because right. you're seeing it out of its eyes. How much damage did you say she took? Six. Uh, six. Uh, damage. And what was it? Strength? Strength check. Her strength roll is an eight. You helped, you helped nobody. She is wrapped up. Pretty <laughs> soon the things are going to start spitting liquid on her and melt her away. Oh, no. Um, okay, I'll die. Now, the following you'll... divorce, I showed her a picture. I am terrified. Yeah. You can see it now. Unfortunately, you are wrapped up, so the disadvantage will still be in play. What would you like to do? She gets, she gets her rebuke, does she not? Or does that come after her attack? Hurt no, it. she can do the rebuke. I'm going to hurt it. I'm still trying That's to figure everything do. out. That's under it. actions? Yeah, throw me my weird sour liquor. I think it's under reaction. Yeah. Throw my so if you give me a split second, honey, I'm trying to ah. do that for you here. Uh, 30 feet, you reaction to deal three sight damage. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? And push it up to 10 feet away. What? Uh, well, she's wrapped, so if she does that... I like going with it. Going with it. <laughs> so she could just do her regular attack then. Yep. What does that mean? You can do your attack. You got your shadow spawn too, can also do an attack. Can I, I believe shadow spawn. Can my demon friend do something? I believe so. What can my demon friend do? He's not your friend, he's my ally. Uh, More like your slave. <laughs> <laughs> and we all know slaves love their masters. Oh, yeah. Yep. I feed him cake. I'm still trying. I, I, <laughs> I feed him chocolate. Try to figure this one out. It was it was a new thing, so. Oh, no, that's fine. Uh, hey, Frank Senior, do you have Amazon Prime? Here we yes. go. Yes, I do. I, I think it's on Amazon Prime. Look up Pleb. P L E B. Pleb. Pleb. I, I think we found it on that or Netflix. I think it was Amazon Prime, but uh, uh, I think you'd get a kick out of that show. I think everybody would get a kick out of that show, actually. Pleb. <laughs> First episode is hilarious. Not for the kids. <laughs> oh, yeah. Plebs. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll watch that. One and a half. Plebs f follows them. three desperate young men from the suburbs. They try to get mm, hold down jobs and climb the social ladder in the big city of Rome. <laughs> that happens to be ancient Rome. Yeah, <laughs> that looks good. <laughs> did you get that, Alex? Yes, I did. Did you look it up yet? No, I'm still looking at it. Okay, so <laughs> it looks good. If you see the would, title of episode one, you'll understand. <laughs> oh, would, man. would that would that shadow spirit would it use uh, her hit attack chance? bonus? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Sophia. Here you go, honey. Because it is linked to her. So you, it's tonight. like my kind of a show. Now it it attack. Could you come over here? Please? I haven't gotten to see episode two yet, so. So it just it it attacks regular attack doesn't have a disadvantage, right? Correct. It can see fine. She's at disadvantage only because she's wrapped so, up. Roll that, so we have an attack roll. You're you can do a chilling rind. It's like a melee attack. Oh. No, 20. it's it's a twenty, dirty. It's dirty twenty. I don't want to see. 20. Now. Twenty. You roll. I was going to say 12. No, 30, no. 20, Dad. Okay, well, you hit. Now roll. Oh, jeez, I'll just do no, it. No, no, you have bad rolls now. I rolled a 12. I mean. Out of 12. 
Uh, twelve plus, is going to hit. Plus six. Yeah, twelve it, hit. It says plus three plus her spell level, which is third. So that's six. So that's nineteen damage. Oh yeah, it's dead. Uh, Beal, roll a d20. I'm going to roll a d12. If I beat you, you're going to take some damage, but I'm giving you the advantage. She's still like wrapped up in this thing, isn't she? Yeah. Yep. That's why I'm like a a leathery taco. I'm going to go hurt. I'm going to (laughs) go. She rolled a seven. What? What? What was it? Uh, She just barely beat you. How much, how much damage did she, or did her shadow demon inflict on it? 19 points. Uh, Let's go third. So let's call it six, six, six Six damage points of damage. Yep, but the thing falls to the ground and opens up. Uh, light has been restored. She can see it. You hear the thumping of feet. Uh, actually, you don't hear the thumping of feet because uh, Leon Sphinx is just uh, walking along. Patting along sleep. at my normal pace. Yeah, Don't care. But right now it's Gornak, who has finally wiped the oil off his ass, stands up. He got handed his javelin. Ralph is approaching him. Uh, Leon is wandering down the way trying to find where the other two are at. So, Gornak, what would you like to do? I think you should go tackle a torch. <laughs> <laughs> Here, catch him. You should unmute Hold this. Sophia, sit down. And you're muted. And you also see colorful urns on either side of you. Colorful. He is so colorful. trying oh, to get you to break into those, one of those urns. Oh. Go to one of those urns. Cool. Uh, give me a D20 roll. Uh, which one is shinier? The one with a flashbang in it. Mm, shiny. Just a straight up D20 roll? Yep, just a straight up D20. You worked awful hard to get him well, to open one of those. Yeah. I mentioned it. (laughs) Uh, You see an urn with a a rather large coin. Looks to be silvery, possibly platinum. Uh, It has an engraving in it. Uh, It's kind of an ugly gnome female is what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. Uh, There's a lid that you can lift. Uh, uh, It's a six charisma etching there, so not attractive at all. The lid is the easiest way to open it. Uh, sure, I'll open it. <laughs> what, I haven't seen this go. happen before. Ralph, what did I have you roll first? Was it dexterity or d12 uh, against me? No, it was... I think it was Dexterity D12. first, wasn't it? No, dexterity was second because that was oh, the yeah, result yeah. of the d12. Yeah. D- d12 me there, Gornak. The d12 uh, to see if you breathed some of it in or something. Yeah. If it flies out. I got a 10. Uh, no, this one is settled. It was a female, so there's not as many ashes in there. Probably not as fat as Ralph's. So uh, you look in there, doesn't appear to be anything in there but ashes. You kind of swirl it around. A little acrid aroma. I think I'm going to put it back down. Sure. Is there yeah. anything else other than the other urn? There's a lot of tokens lying around it. Uh, memorabilia. I'll, kind I'll of anything that looks valuable. Uh, D12 against me. All right. Hopefully, none of this is cursed. Well, you'll find out, won't you? I big will. If it's cursed. cursed. The, big old, the big old number two. You see uh, what appears to be a, a clamshell uh, with a thong, a piece of uh, tight leather around it. As you flip over the shell, there's a bluish pearl uh, that this uh, creature was growing, but it's embedded in the shell. It's, it, it's kind of pretty, uh, very unique. You've never seen something like this before. It's got the thong with a, a toggle, a decorative toggle. So if you want to wear it, you can wear it. Jesus Christ. Uh, you know what? That sounds like a great idea, but I don't think it's going to fit over my mane. So I guess I'll just hold it and keep it on me for now. Fair enough. Uh, let's see. Uh, Ralph, were you headed back as well? Yeah, I suppose so. 
Okay. Uh, uh, Leon, Ralph, you arrive. There's two piles of leather right next to Barnum and Beale. Uh, yeah. Beale. Beale looks like she got the short end of the stick on something. She's very kind of emaciated. Her dream of losing weight by being crushed to death by a monster has finally come true in the cabin. Yep. Uh, I'm going to examine uh, the monster, the thing pile of leather on the floor. Uh, Arcana check. Arcana. Ain't <sighs> much. Plus one. Uh, 15. Yeah. Uh, you've heard of these creatures, but you thought it was just drunken rants uh, from some of your colleagues. Uh, I'm going to feel that leather. Nice and soft. That's nice and soft. That's not his leather you're with... feeling there, Leon. <laughs> hey, that'll make, that'll make a nice pouch. It <laughs> looks like an already. That's what you're rubbing. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. This is a yeah, female. Oh, yeah. It's a roux. You're can it hey, with a can roux. It, any of you guys skin? Oh no. I can, I can always yeah, try. Yes, I do actually. Or am I still back there? You wander up holding your cute little I'll, I'll ask him, Gornak, do you bring your skin a knife? Yes, I did. Actually. Check out, check out this leather. Oh, it's it's kind of nice right there. You know he's gonna fumble this roll. It's Go animal ahead. handling. All right. Is, now, do these things <laughs> lose that uh, that darkness ability stuff after they're dead? It's I rolled the nice soft skill seal like leathers. Nice soft stuff. He uh, he successfully removes the cod piece copious wings uh, from this thing that extend from the wrist area down to the knee. Uh, that's what was suffocating Beal earlier, uh, but he manages to do it on both of uh, both arms of the first one. So he gets a rather decent size amount of fabric from it. There you go. Let's try the second his, one. We get yeah. Before he opens the poison sack. <laughs> yeah, before you open the poison sack. Go ahead. I opened the. I did a natural twenty on the other one. Uh, he has learned from his first one. Oh, he got the pouch too. Trip. Yeah, wow. he got everything. There's a coin purse there. Coin so, purse. Yeah, he's 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 going well. I got a plus four in animal handling. Weren't we warned in green room to be nicer? <laughs> yeah, well, I thought we're doing it, aren't we? Yeah, that sounds familiar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll tell Gornak. You know, we get back up into when we get back up in town. Take those down to Tanner. Get that. Get you a nice cape made out of that. That is so I nice. Will. Nice leather. Everybody, give me an intelligence check. <laughs> oh, Gornak's oh, hose. No, I, my my intelligence is okay now. It's a it's a, it's a plus zero instead 13. of thirteen. Not mine. Mine's a six. And oh my god, <laughs> oh god, we suck. I got a seven intelligence. You got a wow. plus zero. Plus. <laughs> She I got nine. nine. Did I get better than you? No. I don't My know. God, I had the high number. <laughs> 13 is the high. Uh, 13 is going to be good enough as you. There's still three of them out there. There's still three of them out there. So let's go find them if we can. I so, can't remember. Why did we come down here to begin with? <laughs> uh, to find the orphan to clear these guys out okay all right without disturbing any graves yeah that, that one very specific, very specific. No, anything those that, graves yeah we just took stuff off the orphans when we killed them right gornak yes right no so let's yes. head back up no. the arbalist way the way that that one was running huh? the arbalist is behind you because barnum and beale okay made it out of this area so all right you had the split over here is your initial contact yeah over here is your entrance over here is the arbalist and the chase and then down below no idea so let's go down below okay go down below you travel a little bit it's dark do you relight your torches uh mine was already lit uh before we start moving i've been wait. i'm gonna heal up uh Beal. She's hurting. She's only got 13 points left. <laughs> that hill dwarf's looking pretty <laughs> bad. Too. Yeah, you're just handing out healing. Sounds a little my way. Well, I, I like got so much. <laughs> only Literally so much. I got 13 hit points out of her 41. 41? <laughs> 
I'm um, down. 32. I only Bullshit. got 24 out of I only got 24 out of 49. I'm down to 45 out of 55. <laughs> 45. Oh. You aren't rolling what D20s I, like they do for their hit points. Apparently, I'm not. I better I better get some healing too. My God. Yeah, I'm dying. <laughs> Damn hill dwarves. <laughs> they always ruin everything. <laughs> Be glad right. that Jason's not playing in this one. He's got that damn mountain dwarf barbarian. It's nuts. Well, the good news is he's not here because he would feel obligated to report the destruction of <laughs> no. not if he's playing that dwarf, he wouldn't. Well, he's playing right, the HR guy. I gave you back 10 hit points. Fine. 10 for me? Yeah. She, oh, you're she's so back good. up to 41. Yeah. You're, all, you're almost up to full health, 20 points, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, that one stroke. <laughs> Everybody roll perception. Oh, boy. Oh, well, I'm here. Plus three. Four. One. Thirteen. I don't know how Barnum's healing me, but it's very distracting. I got a dirty 20. The ear. He's doing know. this. Oh, it's Barnum. I'm not paying attention at all. 18. I'm, I'm busy uh, healing you. Barnum, Beal, Gornak, you heard a whoosh and a twang down the south spot where you guys haven't been. Swoosh like an arrow or swoosh like leathery wings dropping in? Um, like they're both now. More like a a trap kind of noise, you think? To the south where we haven't been. Correct. I'll pass my info that I did here to anybody, everybody else. Did everybody hear that? What? Huh? I didn't hear it. Franklin? I heard it. <laughs> I heard a uh, Sound like a trap springing down there, an arrow trap or something. Well, when he go points get that out to you, everybody hears like a creaking back and forth creaking noise. This is when the bridge gets cut. Or, or there's one of those pendulums down there. Hey, let's go see what it is. <laughs> That's not that. You guys maneuver down that way? Yes, absolutely. You head down that way and about 30 feet go by, uh, jagged, irregular shapes, uh, stalactites and stalagmites. But in the center, in the dark vision, and even in the soft glow of the torchlight, you see like a net moving back and forth with an arm sticking out of it. Uh, I was wondering if it's going to be a cage full of like little gnomes. That looked like a bunch of time bandits swinging in that cage. Trying nice, to nice, nice segue there. That's a yeah, good one. Yeah, that was. Uh, and well, they have seen. a computer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, keep, a, keep a, a wary eye around and work my way up to it. Uh, point of knowledge for you older people. Uh, the bad guy in that movie was the bodyguard in Titanic. Oh yeah. Well, well I never saw time. Titanic, so I can't. I saw Titanic. It's weird. Did you Did you see uh, Jack the Ripper in New York? No, I did. Time after time. Time after time, oh, he was right. also uh, Jack the Ripper. So that guy's been in everything. Uh, so yeah, so this crude net what is swinging back and forth with what appears to be a gnome arm. Well, I'm gonna stop the net. Is that possible? Oh, yeah, sh yeah that, sh that shouldn't be too tough. And look in it. Is there a gnome in there with that arm attached to him? No. Just it's just, the it's arm. just an arm, and it is attached to what appears to be a small bag. Hmm. Is there anything else in that net? No, uh, it's actually very, it's not even a teardrop. It's just kind of posed. Yeah. Everybody hears the familiar sound of as an arrow goes. At Ralph. At the net. Oh, at the net. Uh-oh. I'm going to jump backwards. 
Nat 20, as the arrow connects with that bag and fluid drips out and turns into a gas that just whips out. Everybody roll con save, please. Uh, since you jump back, I will give you plus one, Leon. That would give me a 25. Okay. 11. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. 13. Good thing I got healed. Okay. That was a nat 20 for me. Barnum, you're muted. Dirty 20. Roll for me, for me. Sophia. Harnack. Scroll up. Could I tell which way that arrow came from? Constitution. Constitution. Beyond. Okay. Yeah. Huh? I got a 13. I got two better. Um, does that do anything? Two better. I, I got a 13. Yeah. The only one trapped in the gas is Ralph, who got a 15. slumps to the ground. 15 for me. <laughs> 15. Well, he's dead now. Ralph starts to snore loudly. Uh, as Leon has correctly guessed, the arrow came from beyond. Now, those that made it moved out far enough just in time to avoid the gas. If you want to go in pursuit, you you're going go to have to get through the gas. I don't want to do this. <laughs> get him, Ray. No way to climb up around or is it the uh, tunnel too small? Tunnel's too small and you hear phew, phew, phew. Oh, no. Oh, hang on. They will not shoot at the laying down Ralph. That's very kind of them. They will, shoot room. At they will shoot at Beal and they will shoot at Barnum. So on Gornak, four. Beal, 16. Uh, that'd be plus two. And Barnum, 15 plus two. So 17. Nope. Uh, does the 18 get you, Beal? It does. I'm pretty She's sure 15. That. What, what you know what? Let's use my favorite uh, root beer. It's your armor class, but I know mage armor gives you thirteen <sighs> plus your const or your dexterity, so you're fifteen. Two hit points of damage. Ralph, roll me a d4, please. Two. Unless you are aroused by your cohorts, you will be sleepy time for two rounds. Uh, everybody, roll me initiative. Including Ralph, which doesn't really count yet. Ugh, 12. Oh, wait a minute. I got a plus on that. 17. 14. 14. 17 for Ralph. 14. Yep. I got an 11. 11. My rolls are starting to go down now. This is where I start to lose it. Barnum and Beal. What? Initiative, honey. Roll your initiative. Oh. Right there. Go. Nat 20. Nat 20. 22, though. No, Nat 20 goes first automatically. I rolled 15. 15. Okay, Beal, what are you going to do? Uh, the arrows are coming from the far side, but you got to make it through that cloud. Well, can I shoot? Also, through? Ralph is sleeping one off. I want to try to shoot through the cloud. But that's a bad sure. Idea. Oh, I'm sure it's going to be fine. What could possibly go wrong? I guess. Absolutely nothing. 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 Of course, uh, I don't know. We haven't been an hour since she's cast her 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 thing last an hour. Her shadow thing? that oh, okay. my, my demon friend shadow spawns in that summons is an hour. Sure. Do you want He's to send him through the cloud? He does yep. have hit points, so he, I mean he can drop down if it takes enough hits. But yeah, send him through. I might. I'm gonna send my demon friend up. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> He's going to go up. Then what are you going to do? 20. What are you, what's he doing? He's going up to do what? Do you know what the situation is right now? There's people shooting at us. Okay. So what are you wanting your shadow spawn to do? Because right now there's a, air, there's a cloud of gas. Want him to go through the cloud. You know, not breathing and all that stuff. But like. At least, you want him to go attack the ones shooting at us? No, I'm just 
go over there. Can he speak? Ah. I I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna okay. say no. It can't speak. How's okay. that? Okay. I don't know anyone. Anyway. I would assume that you can communicate telepathically to her. Okay. I want him to. You are Aquaman. <laughs> it understands the language you speak. Okay. So I want. You're gonna I try to communicate to... with the people up on the hill. <coughs> I want him to see how many people there are, at least. I don't. So you're okay. gonna send them through the cloud. Yes. yes. To see how many people there are. Be stealthy. Okay. okay. Yeah, stealthy coming okay. through a cloud. He's gonna look like Flash Gordon attacking the city. Okay. Uh, who's next? Uh, seventeen. Oh, Ralph, sleepy time. Uh, fifteen is next. Barnum. Turn. All right. Uh, spent all my time working on you, young lady. <laughs> Let's see what I can do. Uh, sound. My doors. That's not what I want. Uh, Uh, la, 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 la. And it's just a cloud of gas. Yes. Can I try to spark spark the sacred flame in it? See if it burns out. Yeah, as long as you don't hit Gornak. He gonna set your ass on fire, Gornak. Go Why? ahead. Spark it. Okay. No, don't spark it. Too late. I already sparked it. D12 against me. Frankie, prepare to almost die. Sure. 11. 10. Uh, it ignites and it starts to burn the net that is right above Ralph. <laughs> 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 the, the glass cloud does not ignite, however. Uh, so next you one. use that for nothing. Up is the fourteen, uh, <laughs> Leon. Cost me nothing. I, I want to try to uh, hold my breath and run through to the other side where the arrows are coming through. Sure, break Underneath, on through uh, to the other through side through the uh, flaming net. I thought I could get around the net. You said it was just hanging, kind of like down, like it's limp now, but it's on fire. Yeah, I'll run by just it. Just above Ralph. Okay. Ralph who? <laughs> The hill dwarf. <laughs> oh, the hill dwarf. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, give me a constitution check at advantage. At advantage. Well, that was a 19, my first roll. So that's you'll a be 23. Fine, yeah, okay. you'll be fine. I'm going to run could, through and charge at them wherever they're at if I can see them. You cannot see them. They are out I'm of following your the de- Following the demon. Very, very good. Uh, 11, Gornak the Mighty. Covered in oil. <laughs> hey, you got to run through the flames. <laughs> Is that a medical? Um, I don't think I, I don't think I want to run through the flames. I, I, that, I have a I feeling that would a be a little bit bad. <laughs> well, it's um, up to you, Gornak. You can't. I mean, you saw Leon run through it. Yeah, he did just fine. Um, I guess I'll drag, I guess I'll kind of reach like this and try and grab Ralph's foot to pull him away from the burning. burning that advantage like that a bit, like... Constitution check. All right. Let's do a constitution check. Yep. Wow. That I got a natural, tw- natural 20. Yeah. Sure. You, you pull Ralph away just as the net drops, saving his life. You better be uh, thankful. Yeah, he or owes you a lot. You're my yeah. hero. Everybody yeah. hears. Oh, what? Uh, what you're doing. Uh, three Ow. more arrows. Three, Barnum. Barnum. Two, Beal. No. One, Leon. Oh, good. Uh, Barnum. Leon, who? <laughs> Four. No. Spinks. 14 plus 2, 16. No. Beal. Uh, please don't hurt me. 16 plus 2, 18. Yep. Uh, Leon. 
Not 20 number two. <laughs> so I will use a uh, murder hobo die. You guys will both take this plus one. All right. Of course. <laughs> plus one. Yep. Those dice are loaded. The damage. I, I am, How much those damage? Are loaded. Seven. Seven? Because it's a <laughs> natural six. Because here at Murder Hobo Inc., we roll. We know how to roll. We know how to roll. Yeah. You're like hurting Sophia. I mean, she's already down to 34 hit points. I was like that when I... I'm telling you, man. I'm down to 38. Top of the order. It's time for Sophia to get even. The net is down. Ralph is safe. Uh, Leon is yeah. charging forward. Uh, Termitus or whatever the heck she wants to call her demon is flying ahead. What's uh, the demon's uh, dark vision range? 120. It sees the three shooters. There's three shooters up there. It's letting you know. I'm sorry. It's movement speed is 40. What? Not 20. Oh, yeah, it, it's closing. So it's gone 80 feet. Nice uh, 30, 35. Yeah. So it's, well, you're it's, slower. Oh, God, yes. The old man, you, you're too <laughs> slow for this. This is round two. So Ralph will be waking up uh, with yeah. Folgers in his cup. But we start with 20. Leon, uh, you still don't see him. And okay. you know that the arrows were coming at you. So, you know, you got to be close. I was a 14. On the uh, on oh, I'm sorry, that's right. Uh, so or uh, Beal, you got the 20. My bad, yep. she's got the 20. I, I was trying to read, I for some reason I was thinking this thing has like a natural fear or something like that. I was trying to <coughs> uh, conditions immune, it's immune to frightening. I'm speaking celestial to him because oh. And then you that starts his turn within five feet of your spirit has speed reduced. All the speed's reduced. And the spirit has advantage on attack rolls. All right. Well, hell, Sophia. I do a dreadful scream. That's what you said. That's what I was thinking. Do a dreadful scream. Dreadful the spirit scream. screams. Each creature within 30 feet of it must succeed on a wisdom saving throw against your spell save DC or be frightened. Nat 20 number three, a two and a three. Well, I'm glad you wasted that nat 20 on that. So yeah, me too. One fear, the rest are no 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 one nat free, 20. Two, two fear. That's what I meant to say. I was trying yep. to get that out. But he kept throwing that nat 20 in my face. Frankie? <laughs> so, See, right. between that and the murder hobos, his psychic attack is working. That's right. <laughs> it's my vicious mockery skill. Oh, oh no, I get another murder hobo. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm a mountain dwarf. I'm a mountain dwarf. <laughs> oh, no, I hope this doesn't roll a six again. Uh-oh. <laughs> so the frightened ones have to re uh, repeat this action ever until they on a save until they save. That's right. I, I know where they're going, so that's fine. All right. <clears throat> frightened of the spirit for one minute. Uh and the creature frightened. Beal, do you have an attack or is that the only thing you're doing? You have an attack. So uh, okay, you so all right, are question. they 120? What? How far away are they? Uh, about 140. So you're out of range. You'd have to run through the smog. Okay. So they can't contact me? So like... They've been doing a lot of contact in you with their arrows. No. No, but you, you're, she's seeing through She's seeing through the yes. demon's eyes, right? Yes. So you don't have to do anything. You can use the demon to do your fighting. <laughs> if she goes, and okay, if she goes okay. unconscious, does the demon disappear? I would think so. So uh, if you yeah. run through that, you run through that fog cloud and breathe it, and pass out. Your demon's done. Or maybe they just go insane and attack everything like a golem. Oh, you would like that, wouldn't you? Yes, I would. Well, he is so a the DM. creature is an ally to you and your companions in combat. <laughs> initiative, but it takes its turn immediately after yours. It obeys your verbal command, so it has its own attack. So you have yours, and then it goes. You know, I mean, issues it takes a dodge action to use to avoid damage. So, 
Well, you can. Uh, well, you can try to run through the smog like your grandfather did, like your grandpappy used to do. So we're, able to yeah. do we're away from the smog right, right now. Right. So I can, but they're on the other side of the smog. I'm going to take a deep breath, trying not to. Like, can I, I don't breathe in the smog, right? She's okay. going to try to run through the smog holding her breath. Give me Con advantage. Roll. Con roll at advantage. Let's pass out, by the way. Con roll. Roll it twice. Uh-huh. Once. Okay. Roll it again. And 18. Uh, you make it through. Uh, next up, uh, 17. Ralph, who am I? Ralphie. Where am I out? What am I doing? Yeah, pretty Why much. Are Why are my pants undone? <laughs> Why are they undone? Why is Gornak smiling? <laughs> Oh, these, ans- these answers and more on our next episode of Soap. Oh. <laughs> uh, if I'm I love that show. to see the fighting, I'm going to shoot some arrows. Sure. Oh, great. Right. Can you see what you're shooting at? Nope, That's not- what I was wondering. Do I have mm-hmm. to roll for that? Uh, you've got dark vision to what, 60? 60 feet. We're the only one you sh- that. clearly is Beal. Shoot her. Well, uh, yeah, if I can't see anything clearly, I'm not going to go shooting in the dark. Oh, yeah, oh, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Can I? S- <laughs> that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, that sounds reasonable to me. I'm going to uh, take a shot at what I think Beal is fighting against. Uh, roll a d6 for me first before you roll to attack. Just so he knows what you're hitting. Three. And, okay. rem- All, and your rolls are at minus three. <laughs> oh boy. 17 minus three. 14. 14. Uh, yeah, that'll hit something. <laughs> what if he rolls a one? Is it ni- minus? Is it minus two? Five uh, damage. It, it'll hit Beal. I'm sorry, my name is damage. Five. Got it. Do you have another attack, or is that it? AJ blindly. Uh, just the one. You you heard a screech. Up the way. You aren't sure what you hit, but you... Bill, you heard an arrow go whistling by <laughs> your head. I don't have any. Uh, that screech might have been me. Any actions available? I'm going to try to get to my feet. Okay, sure. And then uh, I guess that'll be my turn. Barnum, you're up. All right. I. Get this mouse to work. more. I'm going to make my way through the smog. Right. At advantage. At advantage. <laughs> Double crit fail. <laughs> Something like that. Nat 20. Dang. Nice. Get to the other side. And then no spell shots this time. Of course, I could guide and pull, but I don't want to. So... Go back up here. Action. I'm going to take a shot with the longbow. Sure. Go ahead. Uh, Roll me a D6. God, D6. What's my minus? One. One. Four. (laughs) Minus four to hit. I rolled a zero. Nice. Uh, you will have seen Beal, so she is not going to be it. Roll something odd. It's her creature. Even. It's Leon. Make it even. My creature's my, pr- my first friend. My creature's my only friend. Don't hurt him. Well, you better hope if he doesn't shoot the creature that I don't think you shot that arrow, because I'll be coming odd. right back up that hallway. I shot odd. Odd. It's the creature. <laughs> Which I just saw the arrow go in the creature from behind, right? Yep. Half damage or full damage? Full damage. Nine points. Literally, I rolled the max amount of damage I can do with the longbow. How much uh, hit points does it have? My rival now. Barnum, your rival. Just don't hurt him. I would think that this would Uh, cause her to fall It does have an armor class. Its armor class is 14. Uh, hit points. 
plus 15 for each spell level. So it is 50 points. 50 points? Yeah. <clears throat> okay, that's fair. Uh, Damn. <laughs> is it like old school familiar? Does she take those points as well? It doesn't say. It just said it has its own hit points. Hmm. Okay. That's I mean, right. I, I'm it. just I'm guessing on this damn thing. It was a quick throw together to get her up to her next level. Sure. I haven't had a chance to read it yet. You're still fourth level, right? I thought we were fifth level. Are you guys fifth level? I was thinking fourth. <laughs> Is that why I have so few hit points? I'm the only I, one at fourth level. Hey, ho, ho, ho. I'm fourth. Why. No, I'm fourth level. Well, then how is three people fifth level? I don't remember ever bringing my guy up. Hold, hold on, hold on. Are those three people in the same house at this time? <laughs> well, there's four of us in the same house. <laughs> one of them ain't playing. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, because I heard all those hit points. Hey, like, he's, oh, hey, he's standing behind his dad. <laughs> no, I'm fourth level. Okay. <laughs> See, I, I'm, I'm pulling for you, Ralph. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. Nobody likes you, Ralph. You're going to die. I've got 53 uh, yeah, hit probably. points. How did you get that? <laughs> oh, no. Her, her hit points really didn't change much when she went up. Okay. Well, let's ignore that spell for right now. <laughs> I just I just dissipated her away. I spelled Fair back enough. down. Fair enough. I, I will I won't even yeah. move the damage. I need my best friend gone. Everything's the worst from my memory. I never had a demon. You got that. one bonus out of that. That that demon saved your life once. Thank That's you. True. Demon. Thank you, Demon. Uh, oh. ne next up is 15. Barnum. That's me. So basically, basically, shortcake's a cheater. Yeah, that's how I'm reading. Cheater, it's his fault. It is. It's completely my fault. It, he admits to it. It's his fault. Completely my fault for having such an evil. The jury cheater. has spoken. Oh. You are teaching young Gornak. Ones. Gornak's on a bad trip. Uh, I'm through. <laughs> I'm. Yes. I'm gonna take another shot up the hill. Sure, go ahead. Jesus. Give me D6. Yeah, because ain't nothing up the hill but me. Minus six. <laughs> Dumbass. I heard that's genetic. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It is. Uh, Not from my uh, side of the family. I, I, I rolled a dirty 20, so I, oh, I actually okay. got a yeah. 14. You hit him. I hit who? <laughs> Somebody. He's going to Peter Griffin you with that. Nine. <laughs> okay. Uh, next up, 14. Leon, uh, sprinting forward. You see a body of a gnome with two arrows in it. <sighs> <sighs> Do I see any round. other gnomes? Nope. You see a tunnel that expands. keeps going, keeps going straight. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep going. Cool. Leave behind the guy with the uh, finger on the plunger. <laughs> didn't see anybody with a finger on a plunger. So what? no, you didn't stop long enough. You take off. Uh, that brings us to the eleven uh, Gornak. <sighs> Bornak the tripping. Yeah, sorry. I was in a rave. A very bad rave. What are you going to do? I don't know. I'm going to punch everybody right now. You, you were giving chase, so you see Leon fleeing the area, but you also see a somewhat warm figure up against a rock. <laughs> With two arrows in him. And you know those arrows just passed over you, so you're pretty I'm sure it's go, Ralph. Yeah, I'm going to go over to that guy. Okay. See uh, how he's doing. He's not doing well, and he's going to roll his first death save. Really? With a seven. He doesn't look like he's going to last much longer. Here, let me help you, and I'm going to yank both the arrows out. That will do it. Watch <laughs> in his eyes. You killed him, Frankie. Ooh, uh, no Barnum, Beal, Ralph. Uh, 
there, there's no sounds of battle up there anymore. Maybe I should put one more arrow up. <laughs> I, I yeah, definitely. What do you say, Grandma? I think you and Ralph should definitely fire more arrows. I believe I said I was getting to my feet last time. I'm going to start advancing towards what I'm shooting at. While while uh, reloading. While Barnum is saying, I'm going to shoot. <laughs> Ralph decides to walk right in front of him. Up the side. Wait, are we single file Everybody. on this? Uh, you're, you're split out. You're fine. Yeah, as long as we're not walking single file, I think I'll be. Uh, be Dornak would be in the line of fire as oh, far away. This decision is not hard. So uh, Ralph's advancing. Beal is still oh, advancing. Dear. Barnum, what are you going to do? Limiter? I'm going to start walking up up okay. the hill. I'm loaded. I'm ready to shoot, play arrow roulette at any moment. Uh, Leon, you notice two shadowy figures going up a ramp into sunlight and disappear uh, because the blinding light is coming down. I'm going to follow them up the ramp. Fair enough. You <laughs> discover that you are now uh, on street level of Yints. Um, and you are, let me see here. My hand's burning. You are right about. Do, do, do. Yeah, you did. That's probably higher because of me. No. Okay, it's back. No, it was sinking down low. Uh, you, sir, are right here. If I could get my stamp. Fair enough. Um, Gornak uh, will be met by Beal. Ralph and Bonham will catch up shortly thereafter. Uh, you guys can ask Gornak where Leon's at. He will say he doesn't know as he stands there with two Cupid arrows dripping blood everywhere. <laughs> I'll say he went that way. Fair enough. Uh, I think you should break it, break it in half and put one on here and one over here. Nice, Steve Martin. It. That's solid. That's solid plus right there. So you four, uh, you can go south. Uh, as you do so, you will notice a cave off to the right. Uh, but in the blinding sunlight farther south, you see a soul figure. You're pretty sure it's an alien. Might have to kill him. Uh, and then he gets up uh, and he appears to be licking himself. Is that Gornak? Nope, Gornak's behind you. <laughs> That's Leonid. That is it's, it's still a Leonid. Oh, must be that other guy, that, that, right. that jackass of a lean in. Mm, yeah. So you're impressed with his, the way he manipulates his fur. Yeah, we, can. yeah, we can't hear whatever it is. We better kill him. Your mic down. Your right. mic's up in the air there, Lino. It's better that you didn't hear what I said. Oh, yeah, I heard it. it. I didn't. What did you say? No, honey. Okay. I, 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 um, I said I'm... Grandmother. I'm licking my wounds like a cat. Because uh -huh. I'm a cat. Yeah, that is true. Fair enough. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Charge up the uh, brilliant area? So we came to a dead end. We turned around and we, we checked every area of the catacombs that we know of. No, uh, you aren't even close. So are we leaving the catacombs? I want to or we want to go back in and I, I, I came out to see where those two went didn't see them I, I healed myself and now I'm just waiting on you yeah your main task was to uh get rid of the orphans to your mathematical skills two orphans have escaped yep oh, no, that's like we got rid of them all then am I right or am I right you're wrong I think you're yeah. right I don't see any. I don't, I don't, here. Yeah. I, I don't think they're gonna burglarize anything else. No, uh, I don't either. 
So I'm waiting on you guys. So let's right. we gotta keep chasing them. Oh hey. so you go ahead and go up the tunnel? Or we're keep chasing gathering them. at this point near Leon because that's where we we're all heading in yeah. the first place. Fair enough. You guys are all at the top of the ramp. Right top here. of the ramp right now. Top of the ramp. Now, keeping in mind, Leon, there there was no light until those individuals disappeared. So apparently they opened up some kind of gate or door or panel mm -hmm. to get out here that's hidden. Uh, if you turn around and look behind you, all you see is the darkness beyond. But you notice uh, a barrel on the wooden facade is open like a door. So when it's shut, it just looks like there's a barrel there. So this is definitely a good point to get into the catacombs. Okay. But it's dinner time and people are milling about. Uh, hell, they're all gnomes. Okay. And we can look out. We can see exactly where we're at in the uh, town. You know, it, you know, it's... You know what? Yeah. But he knows better where you are than Ralph. <laughs> he can smell the bakery from here. <laughs> All right. Well, if they ran up and out, that cleared out two from the catacombs. We need to make sure the rest of the catacombs are cleared out. So we need to go back in here. All right. That's fine. That, that will work. Just, and we, we will go ahead and pick that up next time then. Yep. So, that's fine with me. I just, like I said, start. I come out to heal. Yep. In that bathe in the sunlight like every other cat in the world. Hell yeah, babe. There's a reason for that. Uh, Frankie, what'd you think? Hmm? That's you, little Frankie. Okay. Um, I thought it was a well put together time. I had a wonderful experience. Yeah, because you finally did some cutting on stuff that uh, worked out for you. You can sell each of those for 50 gold pieces, by the way. You have two of them. Woo. Or Woo. you can have them fashioned into tight leather pants. Uh, I think I will. I, I think mean, so. Ralph, Ralph would look good in you know just tight leather pants and only just a leather vest showing off his hill oh, giant yeah. chest or hill dwarf chest. <laughs> Not you mean the you mean the carpet that he tried to grow on his chest? Yes, grow. I think that, if you that, check, you'll that see way, that way when he dances with his arms above his head, his tramp stamp on the, of daisies on the back of his uh, lower back stands out for him. He has a tramp stamp that says built for tough. I, I think it says hill door for life. <laughs> oh, I out of myself. Yeah. Middle Frank, what'd you say? <laughs> Middle Frank. Oh, uh, yeah, I that's liked, you. I had a good time. I was enjoying it. Good guy do a good action. I like a good beast action. I didn't get to go crazy though. So you know, I, I got hit. I was trying to hit you so bad. <laughs> uh, it really irked me when I kept missing you with the bows because I really wanted you to go ape shit. That's yeah, pit and beal. That was a disappointment. Yeah, it. Yeah, had you been beal, you would have been going ape shit constantly. Uh, beal, what'd you think? I thought it was good. I was happy I had a demon friend until I couldn't. Um... You're, next you're next level. Next level. Happy, you're cheating ways. You're going to have to cease, young lady. You're yeah. cheating hard. I didn't do anything. That was your fault. My fault for raising I can say. It's, a, it's well, a horrible musician that blames our instrument. I think he was thinking that they progressed during the lull in the game timing. Uh, that could be because it's been a month. So. Well, if that's the case, then I think Leaf the Druid <laughs> level nine at least mm -hmm. yeah you can think that <laughs> <laughs> you, you can certainly uh, think that yeah. and I, I think that would be a lovely <laughs> yeah. uh frank senior what'd you think oh it was a lot of fun i've missed it missed playing it was good to get back in it and pick on alex <laughs> and frank. poor hill dwarf uh, poor hill dwarf, hill dwarf uh, no love aj what'd you think I'm having a good time, and I'm very glad that the DM took pity on a slumbering Hildorf and did not roll to shoot against him while his ass was exposed. He probably thought about it. <laughs> I considered it. He took pity on the Hildorf with only you better be, 20. 
you six, better be glad a tinkerer gnome didn't ride up there and park his bicycle. You know what I mean? Uh, a, seven, a two and an eight. So I would have gone after you once. Uh, and I would have shot at Barnum twice. So that would have had mixed, mixed bag of results. So folks, this has been the Margu campaign. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we are trying to get back on schedule where Margu A is here. We'll see. We'll see about that. We'll discuss that this week and try and figure it out. Otherwise, uh, these guys are having a good enough time in town or under town or around town as the case may be. Yeah, whatever. Maybe we'll get a, uh, another dwarf burrito opportunity <laughs> uh, always a fun time follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive you want to shoot the shit about dnd join our discord if you want to buy our cool crap the link is down there if you want cool dice at pirate dog dice is who you want to contact if you want cool smells or smells that you put in the boss suspense uh oddfishgames.com adventure sense over 60 of them they also make the shine system mm. so you gooder than me and of course uh february 12th and 13th murder tickets are live uh but the good news is you don't have to pay for tickets just got to buy the badge and sign up for the games all the games are free uh we got a lot of cool events again uh it's going to run two days and it should be kind of fun uh folks for all of us here at murder hobo inc everybody give them the big kiss and wave Mwah. bye everybody what the hell's he doing i don't know